And uh, put your hands together for very fine Steve Thomas. But fantastic. Not really. uh, uh, yeah, came here from Saskatoon. <laughs> Terrible drive, to be honest. I hate Saskatoon. I'm okay saying that. Just for the record, okay? Um, yeah, I came here from Ireland. And, you know, over in Ireland, everybody, oh, I'm from the north, okay? And we, we don't celebrate St. Patrick's Day, right? The sites do. Right, so I, and everybody, I don't like how we're treated, like on the day, you know, because everybody always comes together to honour us by saying, let's get shit faced, <laughs> throw up, and punch each other in the head. <laughs> you know, like the Irish do. <laughs> that's rude. <laughs> I think that's profiling. <laughs> how would you like it if I did that on your day? How would you like it? Oh, happy Yom Kippur, what are you going to do on Jewish day? I'm going to head down to my bank and check my balances. What about you? <laughs> or or how, was, how was your Black History Month? Oh, I showed up late and missed the whole thing. <laughs> how was your Chinese New Year? How was your Chinese New Year? Oh, I had a senseless automobile accident. What about you? <laughs> Please say it. One more. Let's do one more. Mexican. How was your Cinco de Mayo? How was your Mexican holiday? Uh, I spent the whole day getting a neck tattoo and a job at Home Depot. <laughs> Just see what I'm saying. The thing is, uh, you know, being from Ireland, women, women always come up to me and they're like, Oh, I love your accent. I love your accent. They never go, Oh, I love your body. <laughs> they never go, oh, I love that pale white pasty skin. <laughs> and that kid is belly. <laughs> and it's shit. <laughs> I figured it out though. It's just, women want tall, dark, and handsome. Not short, pale, and ginger. <laughs> Thanks. First of all, I'm 22, okay? I do not look 22. <laughs> I look like a ginger Jesus, but not that. <laughs> the thing is, yeah, I'm 22, and it's, it's weird doing comedy, because like, I work with a lot of older comedians, right? And I can't do the same things on stage as I can. Older comedians go up on stage and they brag about having sex with a woman half their age. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do that. <laughs> sort of frightened upon, really. Oh, but it, I, I, it's Valentine's Day, it's a Valentine's Day show, it's great, it's phenomenal. I suck with women. I, I do, and I'll give you an example. Like my last relationship ended um, because she said she was on to anything um, sexually. Apparently that didn't mean criticism. <laughs> she was doing it wrong. <laughs> I know, I know, it's a terrible thing to say. Uh, it's, uh, but here's the thing. Um, my, I, my last relationship, the one before that one, um, she knew what she was doing. I know it's a terrible thing to say as well. Uh, I remember uh, her name, uh, like she, she always called me Steve because it was short for Stephen. And I called her Brittany uh, because she was a slut. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, she was. She was. She could count how many guys she had sex with on one hand, if that hand was holding a calculator. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you like the slutty jokes. It's good. <laughs> it's, the thing with me and women is just not working out, it's not bad. But, uh, you know, I went back to, I, I was talking about Ireland, I went back home to visit my grandma, a uh, great lady, and we, I ended up doing a show over there. And they have different nights at the clubs, right? They have like the comedy clubs, they have like Puerto Rican night, and they have Spanish night. I was obviously meant to be booked for UK and Ireland night. They accidentally booked me for African American night. <laughs> we were all surprised when I walked out on stage. <laughs> I spent 
spent five minutes pretending I was no bino. That's all I could think of. <laughs> you know, when I talked to them, and I talked to you, and I said, you know, I've grown up in Ireland, I didn't have any black friends, and that's not because I was racist. That's not at all. So, I mean, God created the ice cream stall of the world. Ireland was merely the vanilla. <laughs> and, like, God didn't want Ireland to have any outside influences, such as jazz, or hip hop, or any rhythm whatsoever. <laughs> I think that most people know Irish people can't even dance. We just stand in the same spot till we get really mad at the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Until it's like, I hit the floor, I hit the floor. <laughs> Joined by lines of people, I hit the floor together. I hit the floor. <laughs> and that's why Riverdance is a part of poor ethnic diversity, ladies and gentlemen. And if you like it, you're racist. <laughs> but I guess I joke. Um, I came back uh, from Ireland and uh, and instantly got a text with a friend in Saskatoon and he said, I'm going to take the Irish fella out, get him drunk, see what happens. <coughs> and I know I was drunk. Because I was in the corner of the club pretending I was dark and mysterious. <laughs> when in fact, I was asleep. <laughs> yeah, no idea what had happened that night before. And you know what you do, fellas? You, know, you try to re-piece together that night. You try to figure out what the hell just happened. And this is what I did. This is what I did. I pulled out my drink receipts and suddenly went, whiskey, 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 whiskey. Like, why? <gasps> I got a girl. <laughs> Whiskey white wine, whiskey white wine, whiskey white wine, whiskey. Oh. Double whiskey. <laughs> McDonald's. Because <laughs> we all end up McDonald's, don't we? <laughs> and you know what you find at McDonald's? Other drunk people. <laughs> like this girl ran over to me and she whispered to me here and she said she's by and with. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know. But it whispered me here and she gives me a phone number. So I go out with her. And I realized that when she said she was bi, she really meant bipolar. <laughs> she was a crazy bit. <laughs> That's true. I don't think I'd ever, uh, like for women, I don't, I don't think I'd ever get a girlfriend's name tattooed on my body. You know, like in case we like broke up, you know. Unless her name had like, um, I mean, in, that we continue to apply in my life afterwards. You know, like like a nine, uh, like like mom. Like I, was, I know if you mean, but <laughs> <laughs> but like that would always have a mom if we broke up. You know, oh. And the thing, the bad thing about that is um, dating a girl named Mom, right? She'd be like, say my name, and I'd be like, I'd rather not. <laughs> and my mom hates tattoos. Like she hates them. And she said, um, Steve, if you ever do get a tattoo, I have two. But she said, Steve, if you ever do get a tattoo, please get it somewhere that doesn't matter. So I got it done in Mushcha. <laughs> I love that joke. Because I could, I could do that joke anywhere. Like if I'm in Calgary, I can say anything. If I'm in Edmonton, I'm in Calgary. <laughs> and if I'm in PA, I'm gonna say PA. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much, I've been Steve Thomas.